The District Tech program has brought six area schools together with students from grades six to eight and is teaching them how to use hand tools and power tools. Let's catch up with their progress so far. Describe what learning we'll see today. Well, the learning you're seeing today is we're actually on day four of these grade six students coming in, and this is their first week uh, coming to tech, actually. I've taught a lot of their sisters and their cousins, and some of them I've even taught their parents. And so they started off with uh, doing a woodworking project that was my idea, which was a game board, and then we're at the point now where they're using those skills and they're transferring them into a project of their own design. My favorite part was that I can make the stuff, and that I didn't know I could do that before, and now that I've like discovered something about myself that I can do that. There's a lot of bent nails. There's a lot of frustration sometimes because things don't go the way you like, and when you're working on something that you actually care about, uh, it can be hard when things don't go the way you want, but these kids have faced all of these challenges with, with an incredible amount of dignity and respect, and sometimes they just have a bit of a bit of a breather and I come over with my pliers and we get that nail out of there and sometimes you just have to start over and they've all dealt with those challenges really well. Would you mind describing this project? Um, yeah, it's a pretty old board game called Last Man Standing. You use these little golf pegs or anything that'll fit in the holes once you've drilled it and then you gotta jump them over each other and see. Once one gets jumped you take it off the board kind of like chess and checkers. And so they start off kind of nervous at the beginning which is good because I like students that are nervous a little bit because obviously safety is a big issue but they know that they that the, that they're safe here and they're being taught properly and they certainly trust Mr. D and myself and so now you can see that they're pretty comfortable it's fine because you're educated like make the stuff it's not it's like it's actually yours it's not like someone else someone else made for you do you think you'll be taking any tech programs in high school I want to So what we've learned over the last 10 years or so is that the students who participate in this tech program, when they go to high school, they're really confident. They might be sitting beside you in, in a grade 11 shop class, and you might be thinking, holy smokes, this is the first time I've done this. And they're saying, well, I, I did this when I was 11. Yeah. And so they have a lot of confidence when they transition in the pathways to secondary. And we're realizing now that that has had a huge impact on their success in high school. The district tech program at Molly Brandt Elementary School teaches students science and math in a hands-on experience. And that really brings learning alive. Learning in Limestone is brought to you by the Limestone District School Board.